and dramatic new video into our newsroom this afternoon showing yesterday's shooting in over the Rhine where three kids and a man in his 20s were all shot. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sheree Palello. And I'm Mike Dardis. So as you're about to see, there are at least two people firing shots out of a car as they're driving down McMicken. Yesterday, broad daylight, kids around. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson here in the studio walking us through the video and it really tells the story. You know, guys, there are a lot of developments in this case today. First video of the drive by shooting and up close pictures of the people inside the car. Police releasing all of it quickly in hopes someone can help identify the suspects. I want to get right to the video. Watch and listen as we play it in real time first. And you can see people running in every direction, trying to avoid being shot as the car sped off. A 10 year old, a 14 year old, a 15 year old and a man in his 20s were all shot. They are expected to recover. Now I want to slow it down for you because there is a lot happening and I don't want you to miss any of this. Take a look now. This is the suspect's car in the top left corner. You can see there is actually a person hanging out of the car, firing into the crowd walking on the sidewalk. There's also a second person in the back passenger seat that was firing his weapon. As the car takes off, focus on this car right now that is parked. You will see a woman. She gets out of that car. She was in the car the entire time. She frantically runs across the street. Now let's rewind the video. Focus on this car right here uh, that is parked. It's not parked, it's stopped. That is the suspect's car. This maroon car now will make a left on McMiggan. It'll then make a right. No one inside that car was shot, but we later learned the woman inside. There was a mother with three children inside. Luckily, they're OK. But look, it pierced her car and also the glass in her windows were blown out. Just incredible video. We are thankful she is OK. She says she was tra traumatized, her whole family traumatized. Now from the video to the photos, take a look at the up close pictures police released today. The hope is you recognize something about the people inside, including one that shows a person holding a gun out of the back passenger's window. And in another photo, it appears the back window of the car has been shattered. Now this afternoon, police found the car involved several hours after releasing those photos and WLWT was there as police were going through it. The car was found on Keene Avenue at Rose Place that's in Bond Hill. Again, it had temporary tags on it and it is believed to have been stolen before being involved in yesterday's shooting. So a lot to it. Last we heard from police, they were not sure if this was a targeted shooting or not. That was yesterday. We haven't heard from the police chief yet today. Something we're still wondering if this was targeted. And that's the MO so often there are either no tags on a car or a stolen car and you don't know who was in the car because of that. Are police thinking that the suspects could be in the area where the car was dropped off or are they thinking they just dropped it? You know, it that's a good question. Todd Dykes was out there. There was a lot of undercover cops. They were going door to door. They were canvassing the area. We don't know at this point if they think the car was just dumped there. Suspects took off someplace else or if they believe the suspects are in that area. Hopefully those are answers we can get well, sometime tonight. Listen, you hope sooner rather than later. We still have this unsolved yeah. case from up in Coryville from last week where a landscapers out there doing a little mulching and working for um, one of the property companies mm -hmm. up there and was shot and killed. They still haven't made an arrest in that. Not saying that I mean, police have their hands full. There's a yeah. there, there's there was a shooting in West Price Hill last night. 15 so, year old. Another, yeah, another yeah. teenager. So you just hope that they're able to piece these these cases together sooner rather than later. Thank you so much you. for that uh, look at the some of the stories behind the story. That woman in the car is just yeah. uh, wow. That is just chilling to see. Uh, a